On January 1st, 2010, history was made. The first object show was released on the internet for everyone to see. An object show is about a number of contestants competing in several dangerous challenges to win a grand prize. It could be a million dollars, it could be a five-star resort, it could even be a roll of toilet paper. As BFDI came in the middle of its first season, another object show was created. It was called Inanimate Insanity. The synopsis, however, was the same. It was a number of contestants competing to win a grand prize. It was that idea that got hundreds of others to start making their object show, and thus, the object community was created. Some of these shows are good. They have interesting character dialogues and stunning visuals, while others are absolutely cringeworthy to see. These are shows with recycled challenges, bland characters, and very boring episodes. This is a story about a sentient object that wanted to represent the community at its best. After the glorious stunt he pulled off, the object community never stayed the same. It changed for good. I put cameras everywhere, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, the big camera! Let's get this over with. I'm on the top. I'm on the top! That's awesome! Hello, door. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. See you, bye. Come on, door. You can do this! Yes, you're right. My stupid brain is right. I can do this! <coughs> Hello, audience. It's a pleasure to meet you. You may be thinking, Ah, oh, what a- not another object show! But I assure you, this is not a show. It's a feature-length film. Because the object community is just object shows, I want to do something new. It's called a movie. The prize is all the cash, gold, money, coins, nickels, pickles, and pennies that can even be digested. Ten contestants will be competing to win all that moolong. This is not a game. It's the competition to buy whatever on the earth you want. You may also be thinking, how did you get all that money? Well, the thing is... Hey, wanna trade something? Well, you see, I do not have much of anything, really. Give me something! I do have, um, three dollars in my pocket. Cool! I'll trade it for all my life savings! So let me get this straight. I'm buying a trillion dollars for three dollars. Bitch! Take my money, or I'll give you more money! Seriously? Um, <clears throat> well, uh, go ahead! But yeah, pff, nobody cares about that. The contestants will be here any minute now. What's your name, old man? My name is whatever my name is. Names do not matter. What matters is life and surviving it. 
Well, I like Sonic, especially Sonic 06. It is amazing because... Shut up, please. But Sonic 06. Shut up or I'll make you. Oh, you have. Chairs. Ow, why did you do that? The more logical question is, why did you do that? You're getting stupid, and now I hate you. Jesus, how much can this guy even eat? I don't know, but this is impressive. Thanks for the compliments, my friends. But I am still hungry. Do you have any more food? No, I don't. Sorry. Hey guys, look! It's a giant fish! Aww, it's so cute! Cheese Orb, are you seeing this? Cheese Orb? Cheese Orb, what are you doing? I don't think I will be able to finish this all on my own, so who's hungry? <laughs> You know what? I'm pretty hungry too. Let's eat. Seriously, man? You should know better. This is just a scam so that people who own this cruise take your money. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Because I do. Anyways, look. You're my friend. I don't want you to waste up all your hard work money to this machine. I care about you, okay? You're right. But he should have said that before I stuffed my entire wallet in there. What? Are you retarded? Yes, but that's not the story. Well, you being the idiot you are, you just put all the money in this machine. You have a one in a million chance you might actually win something. Are you scared? Nope. Hey, where's your prize? <gasps> I told you this was a scam. Um, I'm going to walk away now. Hey Stegglemite, what's up? OMG, you have a wasp on your face! Oh my god, I do! Help! Can you get it off? Do not fear, I can punch it out. <laughs> Actually, there was no wasp on your face. I just like punching people for the fun of it. Speaking of which, can I do it again, please? Ugh, no! I take that as a yes. Ugh, practically everyone here is a nutcase! At least you're the only sane person on this cruise. <sighs> okay, never mind what I just said. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna run away forever now. Ah! Okay then, we've almost reached our destination. Contestants, grab your bags and prepare to get the hell out of here when we land. Are you ready to drop the anchor, Maxwell? Sure, boss. No, I mean drop the anchor that is connected to this cruise! Uh, this cruise doesn't have an anchor. What type of cruise does not have an anchor? Apparently this one. Then how on earth are we supposed to land? We could resort to plan B. No way! That will kill them all! We have to try. Okay, contestants. Because of some difficulties, we have to stop this cruise in a much safer manner. I guarantee that guy is lying through his teeth. Where the hell is the cruise? Oh, thank God we landed. Oh. What are you trying to do? Kill us? Stop complaining. Be thankful that you're alive. With this amount of pain, I might as well be dead. Whatever. Just get your bags and get out of here. We're at the island now, okay? Yeah, whatever. Well, we took care of them to our uppermost respect. Can you pay us now? Yeah, I think a severed limb implies uppermost respect here, doesn't it? Just give us the money, okay? Fine, whatever. Say, you don't mind helping us pulling the ship back in the water, do you? Oh, hell no, that's your problem. You suck. So, what now? I don't have all day. 
I apologize for that. But anyways, you 10 signed a contract to win all the money in the world, and only one of you can win it. The rest will get nothing. Only one challenge is made for this movie, and if you do the challenge correctly, you can buy pretty much everything in the world. So, what is this challenge anyways? I'm glad you asked. The challenge is... Drumroll, please. <laughs> to find the prize! Well, where exactly do you go to try and find it? Oh, it could be anywhere. It is somewhere on this very planet. What? The Earth is a big place. Don't you get any clues or anything? Of course you do. I made Easter eggs all over the world. And if you catch one, it'll give you a message with a clue on it. Any vehicles, food, water supplies, and other accessories is in that shed over there to assist you. If you go the right direction, you'll see a gray door. Enter it and you'll have to do a final test before you claim all that money and rub it in everyone's face. Is that clear to you all? Yep. Hell yeah! I'm just not ready. I'm spaghetti. Let's start the countdown then. Five, four, three, two, one. Damn, did I hate them tomatoes. What? Look, never mind that. Just go. Say, Green Ball, would you like to cooperate with me? Sorry, man. I like to work on my own. I would like to try working with you, but the thing is, I feel rather than working together, we should try being arch enemies this time. Well, have fun at the finish line. That is, if you ever get there, you only have legs. Oh, really? Just because I don't have arms doesn't mean I can't do anything. You seem pretty confident, as I pity you. Here, catch that easter egg over there. What? Really? Um, thanks. Well, take it before someone catches it. Like Starfun said, you don't have all day. Oh, yeah, sure. What? You thought I would actually let you do that? Let me tell you something here. Those cherries I got are not just cherries, they're cherry bombs. Oh no. You have found me. Here is your clue. <laughs> ah, gross! Ow! That really hurts! Tuh, I'll have so much fun rubbing this suitcase in your face. What the hell, door? Oh, hey, highlighter. But wait, what did I do? You copied all my stuff for your reality show! What makes you say that? Look at that tree over there! Look at them bushes! Look at that mountain! It is the same exact design I use when filming Object Insanity! Well, you didn't copyright it, so you can't pull legal actions on me! Oh, yes I can! Look at this! That is astounding. Oh, and by the way, your fucking schlong is right in the open. You should cover it. That isn't the point here. Look, if you copy my stuff again, my pet will sleep on you. Wait, what pet? I called him Nicholas Machonel. Okay, okay, I promise I won't do it again. Besides, the contestants barely use this island for the challenge anyways. They better. What's on this note anyways? The prize is not on this island! What? Really? Oh my god! Uh, I mean... The prize is not on this island. You are such a numbskull for giving your no clue away! Let's get to the shed, guys! No, 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 no! What is the point of saying no? You can't change what you regretted. That's life for you. Ah. Guys, I reckon we should team up to win this! The more, the better, right? Yes, I totally agree. I'm hungry again. God damn it, not now! Can you please wait a while? You ate all our hot dogs in one go, it's your fault! Fine, jeez. Come on guys, we need to get to the shed and get something. Yeah, let's go. You know, this was a lot bigger than it looked on the outside, and overall, this place is awesome! So much to choose from! Well, we can only choose one thing. You can't use 12 vehicles at the same time. What about this UFO thingy? Do we all agree on this? I agree, muchly. Well, in that case, let's get inside this thing then. That's a bit too many buttons for me. Are you stupid? There was only six buttons. You're too much of a retard to drive. Let me handle this. Oh man, this challenge will 
be a piece of cake. Speaking of cake... We get it. Here, eat this block of metal. You're on. Hmm, I'll take the speedboat. Wait, can I go with you? No. But why? Because one, I like to work individually, and two, because you're a bitch! <laughs> See you there. I am so getting revenge on Stalagmite for what he did to me. It's about time you get what you deserve. Oh god, no, 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 no! Uh, is there another place where we can get our supplies? Nope, because you wanted to set someone on freaking fire! This is your punishment. You might have to swim to another island. Wait, you tried setting me on fire? Um, no? You tried to burn me? I didn't mean it, wait! Stalagmite, kick her ass! You know what? I have no regrets. The way I see it, you punched me brutally for the fun of it. I'm getting even and I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, damn. Hmm. There's got to be a way out of this thing. Hey, green ball. Is it possible if you could help us pull a ship back into the water? It depends. Can you drive me to the place? I need to go if I assist you guys. Well, we aren't allowed to help the contestants, but I will make an exception. Just don't tell Dor, okay? Why the hell would I do that? Good point. <coughs> Never mind, we should've asked the lag my- Whoa, look! <coughs> wow, how did you do that? Well, I certainly have no idea. But I helped you, so you must help me. You're right, get in the ship, pal. Well, there is no shed, and I have no vehicles to use. Might as well look for easter eggs. Maybe they'll help. Holy crap! Oh no, you don't! It! You've driven me over the line, and I've had enough of it. <laughs> you thought that I would die that easily? Let me tell you something. I shot 20 bullets. You regurgitated 19. So that means one bullet is still stuck in your throat. This is the part where you die. Yeah! Now what does it say? Punch yourself enough times in front of Dora to convince him to give you a hoverboard? Oh god. Can you give me it now please? Stop trying, it's the only one that I've got. There's blood coming out of my mouth, you know. Yeah, and it's all your fault. You won't give me it, huh? Well let's see about that. Please give me the hoverboard. Okay, fine. Here it is. Finally? Jeez, did it take a while. You risk so much for so little. I find it hard to understand how you came this far in life. Shut up. I didn't understand anything what you just said, but I have money to claim, so bye bye. He's going to die. You are such a loser. You are a crap face. Loser. Crap. Face. Abomination to life! That's it! Oh no! Everyone's gone! I wish I could just swim off this island if only I wasn't electronic. Why does life hate me so much? Oh, I forgot you were still here. Say, do you mind doing me a favor? Do you? Go ahead. What? Really? Um, I didn't even say what the favor is yet. You don't need to. I can tell in your emotions that you need to rely on someone to get off this island. Well, uh, how do we get out of here then? Sit on my head. Well, okay, but we don't have a vehicle to use. You don't need to. 
I can fly to the destination with my own bare feet. Why are you doing this for me anyways? The answer to that is beyond your comprehension, kid. I never knew cats could fly. This is a cartoon. What do you expect? Oh yeah, I forgot. Huh, I guess it was a lot more easier than I thought it would be. Hmm, maybe I should check up on that camera of mine, see how it's doing. What the hell is all this? Oh no. Oh no, not you guys! You better tell me where I am right now! In the middle of nowhere. That way, you can continue making that movie of yours. Please, tell me what's wrong with making a movie. The fact is that you're making a movie. No being on this world has made a movie before. Look, every piece of entertainment needs to be the same. Just original object shows copying off each other. If something new happens, the cycle breaks and the world could end in a disaster. Yeah, uh, I can disprove that. Original object shows have hit the air and nothing bad has happened, has it? Wrong. Those shows cause natural disasters in a number of countries. Yeah, and that is a coincidence. The world will not explode just because, oh, you know, someone decides to be creative with what they're doing. Coincidence? I highly doubt it. Why should I believe you when you made a giant conspiracy theory a few years ago that a giant elephant was gonna kill us all? Well, that is wrong. We all make mistakes, don't we? But anyway, I'm getting off track here. I know this is true, and no one is listening. I have to lock you in a room to protect this world before it's too late. This elevator is really, really long. If you have a small elevator, there's a 75% chance a giant bear is going to fall on you. You will be dropped off with the other hosts. Hosts? What? The hosts of these vision object shows, we can't have them destroying this earth. Oh, hello there. My name is Speaker Box. Whoa! Holy crap! It's you guys! Oh man! They got you too? Yep, and to be frank, I ain't surprised. Besides, locking us up here won't do anything. Someone will find the footage on the cameras around the world and upload them. My fan base is big enough for someone to do that. Not if we destroy them first. <sighs> Welp, I tried. But wait! What will happen to us? Yeah, I am pretty hungry. When will we get served some food? You won't. You're left for dead here. Oh crap. Have fun with your final hours. Me and the others have got some business to take care of. Oh, and by the way, you guys would have died either way. So you should fight me. Ugh, it's that guy. I can't let him beat me at this. I must take matters into my own hands. I highly recommend you stop. Never. Nothing will stop me getting this prize. Not even you. I'm warning you. Get off my speedboat. I don't take orders from you. On the count of three, you get off this ship. If not, your corpse will go to the bottom of the ocean. One, two, three.
Don't tell me I didn't warn you, mate. I make no regrets! Oh, really now? What about now? Uh, I think I'm gonna go now. But you have nowhere to go. You left your hoverboard behind, and now you're stuck on this speedboat with me. No, go away from me. You can't do this! Make any regrets now? Now if you'll excuse me, I have a prize that you aren't winning. Hello? Any easter eggs you see in this part? No, go away! Do you have any at all? Can you shut up? Do you know where I could find some easter eggs here? No, we don't. Now please stop yelling, it's like the middle of the night and you might wake up the children. Got that? I despise children, so I don't really care. Grr! Hey, I do that! Shut up! Great, now how will I find clues now? I think I might have your solution. Wait, who said that? Right next to the candy shop. Okay, but you get what I mean, right? I'm talking about- Yeah, I'm a big fan of the movie you're in and according to the blog on Dora's website, you are one of the contestants. You don't even have a computer, how in the hell do you know all this? I was an old employee of Door. I can remember it all in my head. The movie all started in a Skype call one day. Dora was saying that there was this thing he always planned, something huge. As for me and the others in the call, we thought he was joking. But it turns out he wasn't, he was legitimately serious. So, what happened then? He made a teaser trailer online, showing the first draft of the film. But it didn't get very good reception with a certain minority of his audience. Dora then realized what he did was a stupid idea, and was never seen again, until two weeks ago. He said he wanted to give this movie one more chance. And he wanted to add something big to the table. What does that mean? Not sure, but I guess only you can figure that out. Because he actually wanted to do something new, I got fired. The cardboard box is my home now. Well, that really stinks, but I need to win this challenge. Where are the easter eggs? There is a concert going on, and there are actual easter eggs that are playing up north. You just need to touch them and get your clues. Weird, but yeah, thanks. No problem, mate. Wait, can I come with you? Oh, um, sure, come along. Aw, oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Look, Greenbo, we need to give you some rules for this ship. One, don't make any damage to property. Two, we look after each other and help in any way we can if someone is in a pickle. And three, concentrate as much as you can at sword fighting practice. Wait, what? You heard the man. You need to hold a weapon for self-defense. Look, we're in the middle of the ocean right now. I don't think there'll be any danger in sight. You really think so? Here's the thing, you are lucky to be chosen as a contestant on this movie. Anyone not chosen will take your place to take that cash home with them, and they are so bloodthirsty for that money, they will kill anyone to get their way. It's a big world, they can't track us down, right? Oh yes they can. It's all on the movie website. Your name, address, where you're going, ID number, everything. What? Dora doesn't have the right to do that. Oh yes he does. It was all in the contract. And may I add, the negatives are pretty darn small. Well. I'm screwed. Not when you power self-defense. Come with me. You are going to use your own sword with your own legs. One more thing. Who is even controlling the ship? I said it to autopilot. Don't worry. Phew. Thought it would be Titanic all over again. Aww, I wanted a good climax. Um, yeah, because life is boring when you aren't killed yet. Just come with me. You got sword practice. Alright then. You know, this whole conspiracy theory is all baloney. You got that right. These people are just flat out insane. You know what, guys? I'm not going to accept my fate like this. I need to upload this movie to YouTube and show these guys that a movie won't end the world, and everyone will laugh at their faces. That's easy to say, but harder to do. This whole room is made out of stuff more rigid than concrete, locked by nails, and shut tight with security. He's got a point. We're stuck here for the rest of our days. Uh, no we aren't. I watched enough BFDI to know that this speaker box cries acid. Are you rejecting my cakes? That makes me want to cry. And I cry acid. Blah, blah, blah. 
You know that's something that can get us out of here, right? I am a tough nut. It takes a lot of hatred, antagonism, and hostility to tear me up, you know. I can take care of that. No one likes your cakes. Take cover, now! Why would you say that to me? Dude, I knew you would get upset, but you're acting like a baby here. That stuff almost killed me. I work day and night to deliver my contestants the best I can offer. And you tell me no one likes them? You can probably understand why I was so upset. Yeah, but you didn't need to throw an acid fest over it. I had every right to cause an acid fest. Why would you disrespect my beautifully robot-crafted goodness? My cakes are the most magnificent things known to mankind, and I know this because my opinion is a fact. Keep your offensive words to yourself, thank you very much. No offense, but your cakes are the absolute worst. Sometimes you give them fish, sometimes you give them ice cubes, and sometimes you give them absolutely nothing. Your cakes are putrid mess! That's it. Time to die! What are you doing?! Huh, it actually worked. Come on, we have to get out of this madhouse. Who knows what's ahead? Can't this thing go any faster? I f***ing guarantee the Sanic will reach 50 laps in a race when you're about to reach 1. I'm not Sanic. There's only so fast a flying cat can go. Fast? FAST? I feel like I'm on a f***ing tricycle. We've been over the ocean for hours. You'd slow down sometime. Can't go on forever. Then what will make you go faster, god me? Gasoline. Cats do not drink gasoline. Nor does any being for that matter. It's the only thing that makes me energized. Don't blame me. That's just how I'm designed. God damn it, Potato of Awesome. Didn't even give me arms. Who is Potato of Awesome? A tiny little idiot, that's who. Don't worry, it's just an earthquake. Wait. That doesn't sound like an earthquake. That reminds me of... I never thought I would see it with my own eyes. It's the giant holy Brandon cool! Why are you acting so positive about this? He has fucking tentacles at the back of his head. <laughs> Don't think I can hold much longer. Come on, you can do this. Sanic would never give up. I'm not Sanic. What do you mean, almost there? I have no idea where I'm going. Wait, what? We haven't found an easter egg in sight, and we are literally going around in circles until we find one. Look guys, I found one. Really? Where? Just about on that building over there. Yay! Uh-oh guys, I think we may have a problem. What is it? Out of all the buttons to control this thing, you can't slow down or stop! And we're crash landing into the building in five seconds. Oh no. Oh 
Okay, that is not good. Abandon UFO! Abandon UFO! Could you guys just shut up and get out of the damn thing? Your spaceship is on its last legs. Please evacuate immediately before self-destruct sequence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, there. 2, 1. Aw, oh, man. That was a really good UFO. Forget about that. We have this Easter egg to worry about. Well, I've got no ideas. Me neither. Hey Sock, do you have anything we could use? I do. I have just the thing for such an occasion. What? Wh where'd you get those from? They were from the UFO, duh. And you just kept them to yourself this whole time? Well, yeah. I like guns. What do you expect? I at least expect you to share. Share? You'll just eat them all, just like you eat every single thing that isn't edible. Well, you have to admit, it's kind of groundbreaking. So, you want me to share, huh? Well, here's a starter. Take one of them, and start shooting that easter egg down, will ya? Actually, I think this easter egg is the least of our problems. Look over there! <laughs> oh my god, make it stop! Make it stop! Is that a freaking blow-up doll? Oh god. I know what that is. Shoot it, shoot it now! <sighs> well, there goes another problem. We have no ammo left to kill the egg. Trust me, it was all worth it. Wait, I think I have one more left. Wait, you do? Yeah, I actually have. Well, what are you waiting for? Shoot the sucker! But be careful, this is our last bullet, okay? Uh, about that. We... Oh, duck this. What? You do realize we had 12 more fully loaded guns, right? We had way more chances than that. Oh, never mind then. I've been flying around in the air for five hours now and I'm starting to go insane! Oh, uh-oh. Oh crap, I'm going down. Oh no! Ah! Huh, that was a convenient safe landing. Jackpot! Let's get digging! That's over. I wonder what the time is. Oh my god. <sighs> ah. Okay, where is that fucking noise coming from? We ended up fighting all of these at once! Yeah, it seems as though that shortcut really was worth it. Oh, hold on a second. What? What are you doing with my eggs? Wait a second, you are here? Wait, is this the girl that tried setting you on fire once? Yep, and I think I accidentally walked into the wrong territory. <laughs> oh, that's it. This is the last straw! Ha! You missed! Oh, really? Well, in that case, let me try again then. No! Don't! Run! You get back here! 